Hey everyone, it's Heather and I'm here to show you another Project Life Process video using, I think it's the July Messy Box from A Beautiful Mess. I'm not positive on that. I will link it below. But um, I actually took this video a long time ago, like a couple months ago, and never got it put up on my YouTube channel. So I want to do that now, even though it's kind of older. I think it's still fun looking at the whole process and I hope you enjoy it. So as you can see, I'm just trying to pick out cards and then um, just some embellishments. I love these little chipboard pieces. This one says Summer Vibes, and I wanted it to go right where the road was leading in the picture. So it's not exactly centered. Actually, it is centered. I, I did center it. But, um, <clears throat> excuse me. And um, so I'm just adding the words Oregon on this photo with these little orange stickers that came in the kit. This spread documents a week or, yeah, about a week that um, I met my boyfriend up in Oregon and we went to the beach and went fishing and all this fun stuff. It was really fun. And so here I'm just trying to check the dates on my iPad and I put them down on a sticky note thinking that's where, when I, we, when we went, but I wasn't positive and I didn't want to stamp the wrong dates on the photo. So I'm waiting until the end to do that, I think. I'm going to go ahead and glue this beach wood veneer down. I am very much a stickler on stuff needs to be centered. So I got my ruler out, as you can see. And so made sure that was centered on the photo. And then added a little puffy blue heart underneath it. That was not from the kit, just from my stash. Now I'm just taking out my word phrase stickers and figuring out what phrase I want to go on that plain picture. I wanted to put something in the sky there since there was a lot of white space. Plus there was kind of like a little horizon line for your eye to kind of follow across. So I put the phrase, away we go, down. And then I had these little wood veneer pieces I wanted to put on the page really bad. And so um, I used that little plane there. And then you'll see later I use a little sailboat on the top right card. I just added a little enamel dot there. And is anyone else obsessed with little enamel dots? I wish they would make a pack of just the small ones. I don't even use the big ones. I just like the small ones. I wish all of them in the pack were small. <laughs> so now I'm, I'm wanted to use this uh, citrus piece of paper, but once I cut it down, I figured out it was way too busy down there. And so I ended up actually using the little leftover piece and using it on the three by four card spot. Because usually, you know, like in a spread, you need like a place for journaling. So I did that on this pink card. And then the other one's kind of a filler card, so it kind of works there because I'm not taking up like the whole 4x6 card with just one big pattern. Makes sense to me. I don't know if it makes sense when I'm saying it, but anyway. So now it's time for the good old typewriter. I love typewritten journaling on my Project Life pages. It's kind of a hassle to do, but I think it turns out so cute. So if I have the patience to do it, normally I try to do some typewritten journaling on my scrapbook pages. Or my Project Life pages, I guess. So as you can see, I'm just trimming down little strips of typewritten journaling pieces and placing them on the little photo up there. I decided to do some journaling on the photo since it was really just a kind of a spacious photo. There's a lot of 
just white open space. It wasn't really a lot going on because this is just a picture of the lake and my fishing pole and the beautiful mountains. So after I add these little strips, I'm going to add the little wood veneer sailboat that I was talking about earlier. And I like that there it makes a little triangle, a visual triangle, since you have the wood veneer on the top right hand card, the left little plane, and then the bottom beach card. I think it kind of draws the eye around the page and it's really cute and adds some fun texture. The last thing I want to do is add my dates because I double checked them and made sure they were correct and put that on that left card, the top left hand card. And then I put a little star in between the dates and then I'm finished. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel to see more from me. Bye.